To start this video, I'm gonna show you what's gonna make this, this whole business possible. And that's the 3D Q system that I'm gonna be using. When this bed hits 29 degrees, these parts are gonna fall off. Here, look, I'll show you right now. To Royce and Fagundes, and that is the final whistle! It is so now you know how one guy isn't gonna lose his mind running this business, and how it's possible with just a few printers. But uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Let me introduce myself. Hey, what's going on? Snail here. So I have a new adventure that I started. It's called uh, Mount 3D. Actually, it's called Mounted, but Mount 3D, like mounted, get it? Um, all one word. And that's my uh, my new business that I just started. Uh, and it's going to be an Amazon, uh, fulfilled by Amazon business or FBA business. I would love for it to be after I'm dead. <laughs> uh Exciting thing is, is I know nothing about FBA. I mean, it's a whole new thing to me. I, I know jack about it. I literally, I just got, I, I just opened up the bank account. Uh, I'm a bowler, I'm a 20 inch and uh, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is selling mounts. Uh, I, I, I am obsessed with wall mounting stuff, guys. I really am. Um, I, I don't know why, but I always have been. And uh, here, here's some, here's some footage from me in Iraq in like 2006 showing off my wall mount here i'll pause it right now so you can watch this just let this this will just show you how how much i've how long i've been obsessed with wall mounting stuff but go ahead i uh, just pause the video right now editing eric then three two one That's how long I've been obsessed with wall mounting stuff. And I, I love it just for the efficiency of it. I, I'm riddled with ADHD. I know everybody seems to be riddled with ADHD these days, but man, I really am. And, and, and I can't find anything past you know 10 seconds and that, and it'll bother me because uh, I don't know where it is. It'll really eat, eat away at me. So that's why I mount everything to the wall. It's about efficiency, but I am probably one of the least organized people that you need. It, it, it's, it's, it's literally out of necessity for me um, to, to put things on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it really is. So that's, that's where the genesis of this business um, idea came from. And uh, I'm getting ready to get start at, started at it. And, I, and I'm, I've been a serial entrepreneur since I got out of the army and um, actually a little bit before that, but really since 2008 or so, you know, I've been, I've been in, involved in one business or another and, um, you know, for big and small. And, and I'm hoping this is really a success. So I want you guys to join me along the journey of Mounted. Um, yeah, this is going to be one of the first ones that I have up there. This is the, and, and most of the things I'll probably put up, hopefully I, I'm, I'm scared to, but hopefully most of the things I'll put up on snail too, so people can enjoy them, you know, in the real world. But, um, and I also have a commercial, this is why I'm scared to do that. Cause I have a, I have for $20 and, uh, you can see the link in the description below, but you can actually compete with me and sell my designs and stuff. Everything I put on snail. Uh, for twenty dollars for once a life, it's a once in a lifetime thing. Uh, pay, pay twenty bucks and you get the snail lifetime license. So, I'm always I'm a little bit hesitant to do that. To you know, I'm going to be creating my own competition on Amazon and stuff. But you know what? I don't really care. I think it keeps it. Ultimately, it keeps it fresh. Even though I'm super scared to do that, and I'm and I want to be cagey and, and hang on to my designs and everything. Um, I always have that battle within my head because you know. The devil on my shoulder always says, "Oh, you got to keep these designs to yourself." And the other, the the other one says, "But they're going to steal it anyway." You know, but that's still the same devil. It's just coming from a different space. And um, I think what's most important to me, you know, more than money, is that people enjoy uh, the designs, the functionality of them, and the uh, the efficiency that they bring. That, that's all I want to do is make people is make people's. Uh, daily lives professionally. This is what I want to do is just make their daily lives just a little bit more efficient um, Maybe just a little bit more stress-free uh, with wall mounting. I know that sounds crazy and um, But it's just what I'm into man. <laughs> so uh, you know, I Truly, you know money became uh, Less and less interesting to me over the last years. I owned a business. I'll just get a little background on me Um I owned a business from 2016 to 2020 uh, that made made suppressors for firearms and, and things like that. And we actually were pretty big. 
Uh, it's called Rebel Silencers, and it just shut down uh, abruptly. All of a sudden, one day, just hard cut. Uh, it really broke my heart, but it taught me a lot, and I needed it to happen. Um, it was something that I know God sent, even though that I can get a lot of, I know I could, I know I could get uh, a lot of sympathy from man for what happened. Let's put it that way. It was something that I know that God did, um, and so it, it needed to happen. You know, long story short, <laughs> the business needed to get shut down. I just wasn't running it well, and it was gonna, it was gonna kill me. You know, like spiritually kill me. Um, it just running at the pace I was. And I don't want that to happen with mounted. I want to have a lot more fun with this. And that's why I'm, I'm purposely being open with you. And there was a, there's a guy in my discord and join the discord. You can see the link, uh, right there on YouTube somewhere. You can find it. It's one of the links I have on YouTube, but join our discord server. And, uh, but yeah, one of the guys in, in discord, you know, said he wanted to see this journey with, uh, with Amazon, um, I'm scared to share it, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared to share business stuff with you because I fail so hard in business, and uh, and that's how I learn. I learn from the school of hard knocks, man. Um, but I usually win a little bit harder than I than I than I fail. So, yeah. If you guys have been doing Amazon FBA, I'm new to it. I'm not new to retail per se, and I don't even really consider this retail. This is some sort of hybrid between retail and wholesale. Um, but I love the manufacturing space. I, I really love manufacturing, uh, you know, and, and this is probably, you know, manufacturing wise, this is easier than what I was doing at Rebel Silencers, but you know, definitely, this is definitely easier business to scale, but I just want to start out probably this year with, with, uh, these four printers, um, these four mini a one minis running on, on 3dq. Uh, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Uh, try and keep them in running as, as much 20, close to 24 seven as possible. That's a real challenge, you know, to get that kind of sales, I think will be very challenging on, uh, on Amazon. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of mounts, but yeah, I guys come through the journey with me. I think, I think with four printers, we can get a lot done. You know, I have in my head 12 printers. I don't know why I do it. I just, I know the 12 apostles got a lot done, uh, spreading the word. So I just have, I have 12 in my head, you know, as a goal, actually I have hundreds in my head, but I don't know how I want to do this. You know, I typically in the past with business, I'm like, I want to get as big as I can. I want to, I want to shoot for the moon. I want to shoot for the stars, you know? Um, but this feels more like sharing it with you guys, uh, in a way and more of a long sustained drawn out thing, something I'm not trying to make, you know, millions on this year. Um, but hopefully it does make millions, you know, uh, multi-millions. You know, I think I think that it's possible. It's it's definitely easy, not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, it's definitely um, uh, possible um, with something like this uh, to scale to that to that level eventually. You know, I, I think you know a business that was producing regularly uh, tens of millions of dollars worth of product a year um, in the 3D printing space would be interesting. On Amazon FBA would be very interesting. And whether or not that's whether or not that's possible, I, I think I think maybe people like Slant 3D have 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 uh, pioneered that kind of volume. But um, you know they're they're trying to diversify in a whole bunch of different things. I think you know it'd be interesting to try one market um, like Amazon FBA and make it as big as possible, make it a multi million dollar business. I think that'd be really cool. And, and all produced in house and much as much vertically integrated as you could as you can. Um, I've danced around you guys, please give me as much insight as you want as you can uh, in the comments. I read it all. I really take it to heart. I'm, I'm honestly scared to read the comments a lot because negative comments really affect me. I'll be totally honest with you. Um, I'm highly affected by comments. <laughs> I think probably most YouTubers are, but I, I am seriously affected by them. So and I like I really contemplate what you're what you're saying. Um, I don't know if I do that more than most or, or more than some or, or as much as everyone else, but, um, yeah, definitely. I'm very vulnerable that way. So be, be thoughtful in what you, what you tell me. If you tell me to do something extra, I'll probably try and at least figure out how to do that. And that might be a total time suck. So be careful in how you guide me, <laughs> um, for sure. Uh, don't shiny object me somewhere where you wouldn't go yourself. Uh, but 
but yeah, definitely, you know, if you if you've been in the Amazon FBA space, give me those golden pearls if you can. Um, hopefully, you're not casting your pearls before swine. Hopefully, I'll listen to what you got to say, and uh, you know, learn from from your experience. But I appreciate it. This is uh, episode number one in the Mount 3D Quest. Uh, I just printed this little this little robot. It vibrates and moves. You just put a little coin cell battery in it, and it vibrates and moves along the table. It's so so cool. You can see one of my shorts, but see, shiny object. But uh, yeah, join me on the the uh, this uh, Mount 3D uh, journey with Amazon. I'm gonna set up a. I'll do a playlist just for this uh, this stuff because I do a lot of different videos, so it won't all be focused on uh, on Mount uh, 3D stuff. But probably a lot of it, more and more going forward, will be. You know, if you guys are down, if if this video gets no views you're not interested, then I, I don't, I don't care to share this part of the journey. <laughs> um, but if you guys do want to see somebody go, go through the school of hard knocks with Amazon FBA, and I'll probably have a lot of upset videos. Um, but, uh, yeah, cause I get pretty intense with, with business stuff. That's why I'm, I'm really hesitant to share with, you know, uh, I get, I get really intense. Um, I hyper focus and I'll, I'll really get, get crazy on it a little bit. Cause I, 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 I enjoy that, that, I mean, it really becomes, uh, like a, a years, a multi years long, uh, a drive for me. So that's why I've been, I've been really nervous to, uh, to start a new business, but join the, um, and I'm usually very quick to, but on this, I've, I know it's going to be a decently good sized thing. So join me on the journey, you know, like, and subscribe or like this video, subscribe to snail, uh, if you care about this subject, but you'll see the playlist. Uh, link down below so you can follow it and let's let's bang the gun get it on give me your suggestions give me your your uh your thoughts and i, I love you all but jesus loves us most that's what we have to remember we really do um yeah i seem like i'm preaching at you a lot but i'm, I'm this is i'm making videos for future self to remind me <laughs> you know um seriously i forget all the time that we have a savior uh and that we don't need to strive in this in this world because it's all passing away like that. That's, I mean, we really got to keep that in our mind, you know, or at least I do. Um, I mean, we all do, but I do. So yeah, God bless.